Hey guys, it's been a while since I've been on. And, well, I could give you ultimate reason for that. My ultimate reason... Well, I've been busy with a lot of live shit. So I hope that doesn't cause any issues. Uh, otherwise, we're going to walk through and, you know, show off what we've been doing or what I've been up to. At least a little bit alongside of everything else that is life. Dashboard. True. Alright, so it says we have alongside can... of everything else. Here we go. Yeah, it's definitely showing that I've got mic. Alright. Uh that's when one small issue is mic connection. As you can see, it's still got my YouTube guys. If you ever want to find me, Lord Volkark is the actual YouTube channel. Um and the same thing for my Twitch channel. So, hey, find me on there. Find me on Google. You'll find me even on Facebook if you look up the name. So, give me a shout-out. Or, you know, read some of my random posts, reviews. I will be keeping up with as much as I can reviews-wise. So I can, you know, share with you guys as I go along or what I've found out. I do have one rant today. Uh, I'm a comic book collector as well. I have a, the boxes you see. The background where the white boxes right over there are my comic book boxes and I'm uh, always looking to actually keep up with the list of what I've got uh, so it's easy accessible to me and then easily accessible if I decide to start selling on it now comicbookpriceguide.com simplest way to actually give yourself a price guide and also give yourself a listing and the ultimate problem right now is their new layout now, if you look across this page, just with the front piece here, they at least give you new hot comics and then auctions, but the massive amount of nothing that is related to actual price guiding, uh, sale, sold and sales, you know, read more, war is raw, and watch it. I mean, come on. And then you have this little annoying thing that floats around here in the sidebar. Now, this is supposed to be where you can get to my collection directly, uh, which is also, you know, price guide right up here. Go through the settings and everything like that. Now, originally, the search was even easier because automatically when you came on the website, the search bar was right up on the top piece, and you could just go right into searching. Now, they took that away when they decided to actually increase their pay amounts that you could pay on and use their uh, service. Now, that was a problem with me because I was like, hey, I was using this for free, and I was actually writing down lists at first. After a while, I decided to actually join their website and been using it as an online uh, representation of what I've got, so that way I don't carry it around as much on me. I do carry a small list of what I'm looking for, usually on my cell phone, because I have a Note 2. Um, it was easy to write down the little note side. But they have been going to the wayside. Matter of fact, when I brought it up to the guy, hey, is there an option to go back to the original side? Uh, because they killed off their mobile site. That's right. They had a mobile site, they decided to drop it, and then go back to this monstrosity. Very unfortunate they decided to do that, because it lost uh, the ease of access. I can still access it, but, I mean, it's really pain in the ass. I mean, the layering just for, like, the button rollouts, like this button right here. You have to click and hold it down uh, directly on a mobile, and then you have to go underneath there. Uh, the reason I bring that up that way is because none of these guys really want to work uh, when you're on mobile. And whenever I see this in my comic book, if I come down to this and click it in a mobile source, it really, really doesn't want to send me through. I mean, it's even sometimes fidgeting all across the page. It could be a cell phone, my Pacific cell phone, but I believe it is actually a failure in design. They did have a mobile site, and then they decided to drop it. The loss on, you know, me, the comic book end user. That's one rant. Now, let's get into the, actually some of the good stuff. I have finally, finally figured out exactly what I'm putting into my rig for cooling, and that will be coming my way if possible, which means that I'm going to take some time off my build complete. You guys have seen my build logs. Uh, by the way, well, let's update that. It technically log six. There we go, updated. 
and he is under my listing. I'm not playing anything. I see one person in the room. Hey. Uh. Oh. Playing list. Not playing. Not playing anything right now. Now, the first step actually is my motherboard has six connectors on it. One of them is going to be primarily for this. I've already decided it's going to be my Nokia. That's going to be coming my way. Out of Newegg. Kind of funny because I'm not buying two, but the price drops off at two. Drives me nuts. But nonetheless, that's a Nokia fan set that I'm going to be buying. And uh, it's going to work for my actual Power House computer into that actual case you've been several times. Uh, the modifications that will need to be going on will be going on live uh, with the, you know, cut out the metal piece. Go back over here. Now, why do I keep bringing up this cable is the cable is going to help me. The six connectors on my motherboard won't match out pretty much the 12 fans that I'm going to be adding to the case. Now, I'm going to be adding actually 13 is really what I'm adding because I've already decided what I really need in access. Uh, the reason I'm doing 13 is because there's four in the front, uh, one in the back. So there's actually four 120 millimeter fans, and then one 40 mil 140 millimeter fan in the back, pipe out air, and that's just the ones that are provided from the case. Now, if I take my four pin and expand it, which I'm going to expand it on the controller that comes with my motherboard, which is ASUS Rampage, I will add the front one of the actual you know MW fans into the actual case on the front. Now the other ones will be constantly running because they're three pin fans and I'm going to keep some of the one of the three fans on there. Now constant running means at least there's going to be some airflow. The back one is going to be still the you know 40 millimeter provided three pin fan that I don't have power control on. But the front one will be changing so that way I can actually add where I can increase airflow across it only during temperature times. Now the top was still going to be actually, the top didn't come with any fans. So I will be buying some power control fans with those as well, or the PMW fans. And I'm going to be able to rig up mostly those and the one that's going to be up in the front. Mostly because I have at least if I take away the one connector, I have seven, no, I have eight connections for the normal fan setups with the new, with the actual uh, monitoring system for the whole fan or the external little thing that comes with the motherboard. And it, you can actually do it on the programming scale. I'm probably going to do it on both scales uh, across, but it's going to be, I want to use the devicing all the way across. Now, uh, let's see what fans we actually got. Now, this is for the actual three-pin fans. Uh, I'm going to be buying this as well. I need one of these just so I can put it on for the front-facing fans. And hopefully, I might have enough length back fan. Maybe. Uh, and because it actually has multiple ports, uh, the drive bays actually have where you can mount fans. So when I pull that 120-millimeter fan that's a constant, or the three-pin fan, I will be moving it over onto the actual drive case and use it to pull more air across. So there's going to be more air pulled across directly over where I'm keeping my 4 terabyte uh, hybrid drive in the case, which I already have. Uh, that way I can actually ensure that you know its airflow is complete. Now this is actually one that goes directly on a power source of me, constant running. Not an issue with me. Because I want some constant air. The other air is going to cause a differential in air pressure when it actually needs to cool down. And when it ramps down, which is not, I'm not about sound. So ramping down is not going to be an intense thing. It's actually ramping down on just uses at the time. So what I'm doing is setting up where the, the a little bit of constant airflow with some pressure. And then there's going to be a high end air pressure whenever I'm actually in a higher use or when the temperature reaches about 55 degrees inside the case. Now let's look over here. We already seen the Noctia. So here's the fans I finally picked. Now these guys actually have some pretty damn good airflow. Now this is a 140 millimeter that is going to be up on the top. When I have four of those bad boys on my actual case, 
As you can see, it's got that vibration damping rubber, but the only reason I decided to go with it because the higher airflow that was coming through here. You can see that it goes through the one seventy six point six pressure, which is actually going to do pretty good. I'm not using them on my radiator because the Nokia will have their own radio fans. But the actual ramp ups all the way to six m or sorry RPMs, which is going to do pretty damn good for my setup. Now smaller ones won't see the ratings on the oh yeah they did finally pop up these are the smaller guys by the way as much as i want to say you know aesthetics are really not my thing i kind of looked at these and were like hey that red really draws me in my motherboard has a red and so is my you know power source looked at these guys and i was like yeah why the hell not so a little bit of aesthetics drew me into these 140 millimeters it will match my zeus board uh, zeus rampage v board and they will also match my actual power source. Be hard to see, but hey, not fully an appearance thing. These guys really are going to do good pressure, and they will fit on the top. Uh, three of them will go across my top because that's really full size. Three goes across, and then there will be one that I will very likely replace for the up front piece. So I can either put full two or one of the fans. They actually will get a better uh, setup whenever they come in. Now let's go and. So this is my actual 120 millimeters that will be at the bottom. I'm looking to get nine of these guys because the price is right for what I really need. I'm going to put them all the way across. I really need seven at the bottom. The other ones, actually, this is where I'm going to brown. Now, you see the grab brown coloring wasn't my draw. It, it really didn't draw me in by appearance and aesthetics. Again, not fully my thing, but yeah, brown does kind of kill you out, uh, especially in a black case with a lot of red. You can see the difference between it and the brown might just you know, disappear into that. But here it is. Your air pressure, or static airflow, is actually at a 60.7. That was pretty damn good, but I saw even something better. 10% of the RBMs at high, 118,000. That's going to be pretty damn good. So I'm going to actually switch these where they either shut off, or hit on high at a temperature difference. That'll mean that it will do a lot better for my case. Less constant power, there'll be a lot better, you know, run through. They really drew me in just by, you know, operational, which the way they should. You look at them first. Now they're PMW controlled, which means they're even really work for my system. Uh, it's really a big thing for at least my motherboard, the actual you know fan controller that's coming with the motherboard, and the cabling that I'm going to do set up. It's looking like the rig really really needs that margin. So the seven down at the bottom are going to be these brown guys. I might use the other two to actually replace two of the fans of the four that was in the front facing, and then move the other two at the bottom for airflow. One for the hot swappable bay, and one for my actual bay that has the actual uh, four terabyte hard drive that is hybrid, and also my SSD that is actually going to be a 512 gigs. That way, I can ensure the airflow is you know proper, going pretty damn good. I'm moving over my Bluetooth drive that I actually built into this uh, my original case into a small slot. Bluetooth open. It's got a button on it, but I set it under automatic and just go under the programming and click eject or pull in and out. But because it's behind a metal casing, you really can't get to the button, so that's the step that I do. Uh, this was originally meant for a laptop, but hey, it came with the actual port to switch over to you know desktop. The mount, pretty cheap. It's a solid metal brown black bracket. You really won't notice it, the difference between my actual case. So yes, there will be a actual drive or a Blu-ray drive because it is drive in my new case. Most people completely go to over the digital and I'm kind of going in between. So I've got a large amount of space for digital storage and I've got a you know good amount of pull for in. I've got a lot of air that's going to be going across this guy. And which we're going to do an airflow test before I actually go through the metal. Uh, you'll watch me do the full inlay of the fans and the case and everything. So see me do the complete build. Hope you guys have the time to actually do that. And you'll see me even do my actual post-test whenever I actually get Noctia fan in. 
or the Nokia cooler in. Oh, I clicked it off. That was good of me. Um, my Nokia cooler just, I was going to click over to it, you know, give it a good example. Oh, I did that twice. Okay, so this, of course, again, is a cable. Oh, which actually looks better appearance. It's braided. Now, that actually wasn't what drew me in. It was actually, I needed five of these. As you can see, I could even connect to the ECU directly or connect to a fan motherboard, which will be either connected to the fan motherboard. So, yeah, fan motherboard. Or it's going to be connected directly to my system. So I'm thinking it's going to hook up to one of the motherboard or the fan controller header. So let's go ahead and click out of all this. Um, the only reason I decided to go Newegg instead of Amazon is a chance, and I found a lot of cheap fans, easily putting in PMW size fans that I was looking for. Because it decided to do that, I gotta love, it. gotta love the failure in this. All right, anyway, because it was easy that I decided to buy directly off them. It's gonna work pretty damn well for most of my setups, and I'm happy it does work. With that said, that's my actual build reference video for what I'm doing soon. What I hope to actually... Oh, good lord. That would kick me out of Twitch. Uh, you've got to love some of the stuff that it does. Which is the window provided OS stuff. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. Love it so, so much. So much. Take me directly out of Twitch. Oh, look, I'm not being hosted by any channel. Rated cool. M for mature. Sorry, guys. Uh, I mean to have the sound go off for no random reason. But here's my broadcaster back up on my page. I'm going to switch this over. <gasps> Why gaming? Why? Because we're on Twitch. We might as well, you know, do something. Fight gaming. What happened? Go back to my dashboard. I'm hoping you guys are still receiving. I don't know why it's being weird. But I gotta love Internet Explorer, man. It loves to fail. All right, so there we go. Showing you guys is offline. I just want to add a live video. There we go. Now she's going to work. All right, so I'm going to game and take this off the main page, switch over to the other side. I can still see some sound going through. We're going to run this. It's uh, AMD Gaming running in the background. Uh, I'm still using actual Steam, Steam for my gaming, but you know AMD give me some points to at least actually pull up that. Now they have a Twitch app, which unfortunately they run it all the way in high, which even my new computer will not be able to do. My internet source that actually is a Twitch issue versus my actual you know, provider of my computer or anything else, uh, it is the issue of the design of the game. Or, you know, density of the game and everything. Uh, I don't do. Stop that. Hey, here we go. That worked. Oh, good. You guys are. Yeah, I always have to check before I actually uh, go into a game. 
back up. Thought I could bring. How oh, nice. Oh, there you go. Oh, I had to go through depths that I really didn't. Combat readiness. That readiness. In game place. Five potentials, you know, it's going to be summer. We should get a lot more kids. Um, that's fine by me. Kids, you know, I, I really don't add young children into stuff, uh, public, personally, because, well, if I was a parent, I'd like to really, I mean, there's a lot of kids here on Twitch, guys, and, you know, I don't badmouth it, um, uh, but it blows my mind, you know, you get a five-year-old left alone on on a computer and, oh, hey, look, they managed to find uh, these guys. These are good. And I curse like a sailor on a uh when I get pissy about it. So, that's that's a little bit of news. All good. Sound. Second one one time before I actually bring back up the chat. But it didn't mean that, you know, I was playing as a kid, so might as well. All right, we're going to play a couple of games. Then I'm going to get go ahead and get out of here. I'm already dressed for work. Uh, I work today. And uh, it's by Thursday I can announce that officially I have ordered. I'm not using a fan controller, so it's going to actually be. But it should where I can officially announce, hey, I got what I needed. Or it. Initiating combat readiness program. We're not paying you to stand around and look pretty. Go kill someone already. Alright, so if you see a lot more, it's because it has been a little while since I've gained. Headphones that are really, really. I love how physics in the game can't decide which way it's gonna go. Some days you can jump up there, some days not. Oh, look, I just got sniped. Did I get sniped? That looked like a fucking shotgun. Nice shot. You got the shot off though. Oh. Not. Couple weeks since I played. Uh, there's a reason for that. Nice headshot. I was still social issues in life. But hey, guys, I'm back. And you know those fan stuff. Those some good announcers for. Me. I've been doing still for a little while and. Close done. Nice to know. Friendly UAV above. Great shot. Recon drone deployed.
Hop, easy. Bastard's up in the corner. I don't think he moved. Yeah, he moved. What's up, buddy? Good kill. This is a guy used to sniping. His shit turned on. For his exit. How do I know? The way he sniped. Oh! Yeah. Uh, you can tell the difference between somebody with a rig and somebody who's got um, normal air sniping. First of all, nice shot. Get clear, get clear. Here he is. Here's our sniping boy. I was gonna get him, and the second one got me. As I always say, at least in these server rooms, clearly I can actually play. When I get into the other server rooms or the live room, I love that I can get in there, but I cannot do shit. Here, I could probably own on one person. Oh, look, I got an assist with that one. Maybe because I'm not. Now, my speed is great when I'm in some music. Yeah, look at that. I can't get up there. Oh, there we go. Look, I got stuck. Um, and I would love to actually see what they do of when they've gotten killed because of internet lag signed into the actual room. Look at that, he got up there. He gets up there. Now, Prove a point to tell you how bad the fucking hacking goes on in here. I have a hacking video of when I've been hacked in a room. And uh was game. I like how I've got eleven kills. At that cool while. Nice assist. That's teamwork. Boom. Double scales They're out, hurting. people. Keep hitting them. Look, I got 12. Hey, listen. Oh, no. Gross. Yep. I'm about to get kicked out. Uh, which is funny. I think they're... Gotta love that when that happens. Game. Can't leave the... Huh. Okay, guys. Fucking sucks. Always happens. Always happens. Now that was funny when it happened in that section. Great guy. Not through my retail job. Electronic section. Now work in the electronic section. That's actually why I'm able to keep up with a lot of the electronic design stuff that I do. Or you know what I enjoy, or what I review. Uh, that's actually even why I actually more intense on it because I like to 
uh, better when I watch get sold in public. Um, and that makes me fidget. Oh god, I hate this. Uh, but I try not to tell people that because I tell people that. About purpose. Eh. Uh, what else? Back. Uh, we're gonna go switch to main. If I switch to main right now. Oh, look, I got a post game summary. Okay, so let's go under if I go under multiplayer that's what I was just doing. Survival co op. Survival co op, so Oh I got a forty two frame per second. That sucks, guys. Yeah for this. Hey you guys are still getting yeah, we're still good. That's good. Back down. Uh, down line. Let's see how this works out. I've got about 10 minutes before I'm going to have to get off uh, for the day. Quick hop on to even on my build uh, with some video play, you know, gameplay in the back. Excellent survival. Have experience. I don't mind. I've got a cyber power a piece. Ow. Uh, Eco Survival. That one. Looking for oh, we've got 13 available games. Maybe this is where everybody is. Uh. Wow, sounds so easy. Yep. Wow. Okay, so in Eco Survival's understanding, you're supposed to take down the targets that are normal soldiers running in with AI systems set up. Um, the only reason I say um, is I haven't done this yet. Go ahead and do heavy. Ready to wreck. Friendly is down. Locate and assist. Intel acquired. Nice work. Oh, okay, so I'm already in one. Enemy targets are down. Ready up and resupply. Double tap X, resupply. Let's see where they're hiding. I think I already know where they're hiding in. Eyes oh, already down. Oh yeah, this is where exactly where I would be at. Cover me, I'm changing max. 
I can deal with that. Friendly Goliath on the ground. Hostile EO yeah. troops incoming. Take him out. Friendly Goliath online. Jesus Christ. Ally down. Oh, shit! Only took two seconds. Son of a bitch. What level was that? Heal me up, heal me up, please, please. Friendly town. Jesus Christ. Got one behind my ass. Ally down. Repeat. Ally down. Damn. God damn it, I'm glad I like this. Give me up. Give me up. Time goes to history. Good job, team. Guys, this was fucked in. <laughs> oh, God. What you doing? Team, be advised. Enemies are using cloak capabilities. Use the oh. detection if you've got it. Fuck! They got it. Ally down. Rip the support drop headed your way. Ally down. Fuck. Fuck off. They're down. Wow, we just got defeated in two there. seconds. Rally up at HQ. Wow. That got intense really, really quickly, guys. Um, I'm gonna have to do that more often. I've missed this. I have missed this. Did I only get. Feels like I only got five. Bibles. But leave. Uh, so I don't. Yeah, myself a little bit more. Uh, so I exit game. Uh, hmm. Operation Bloodhound. So I only got a seven minutes there, and as you see, my frames per second, 44. That's my setting. Your hardware. Uh, could share it. Share it even on Facebook. Oh, well, here so you can't see it. I will make sure by open up a broadcaster that you definitely cannot see it. Hey, you can't see me. You don't see my login to uh, Facebook. And, uh, wow, that was fun. Has been a while. It has been a while since I've. Uh, thrown down like that. I can feel my jaw tightened up uh, through the whole game and one hell of a fun. Alright, so that's wow. Very, very short.
uh, dedicated dedicated rank and everything else. Uh, optimizing track gameplay. Yeah, that, that's actually thing. So quality lower resolution if necessary. Don't want that to lower down the river. But we're gonna go down. Bullet impacts. Ah. Oh. All right, so guys, a lot of fun. That was. So I'm gonna get out of here uh, for my day uh, because I gotta go to work. <laughs> work. Uh. But hey, I enjoyed the shit out of it. Um, you can see that was my build blog for what I'm going to be buying. I'll show you the next build blog will hopefully be when it's actually here. I'm going to try to get home and, you know, do some actual gaming. I mean, that that was definitely, you know, felt right. So there's nothing else to say. Um, it's sucky that I have one thing to say. Really one thing to say. Think Geek, I'm sad that you got bought out by that, you know, shithole of a store. That means I pretty much lost Think Geek as a buyout product. But then again, I haven't been buying something for a long time from them uh, because they have been horrible. All right, you guys have a wonderful evening. Peace be with you and always with others. Wow, I can't get, believe this is already 42 minutes. Or it was just 42 minutes. It was just... Fun. Uh, again, check out me on YouTube, uh, on uh, YouTube here, Twitch. Uh, anywhere else you can find Lord Volkark sitting around because that's where he is. Have a wonderful day.